Hey everyone, welcome to this November update for 2021. Can't believe we're almost done with 2021, crazy. This year was, or this month was, was great. We had a great Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving to you, hopefully you guys had a good one as well. My mom, uh, just this last June, was able to get some property here, uh, only six miles from our home. And so grandma is now close. And so Sienna loves life, having grandma so close. And um, we had a great Thanksgiving with her and my brother out on her new property, which was really fun. And hopefully you guys had a great one as well. November and early December for us, a lot of times looks like kind of a lot of ordering. We're, we're getting prepared for our next year and getting all the supplies we need. And so that's, this year has been no exception. We're doing, um, as we launch our new program, one of our big things right now is we're trying to get the word out to and, and get all, because all this new program is registration based, which there's a lot of reasons behind that. And I can explain that another time, but um, getting all the families to do that is not always easy. So uh, this year we're sending all the, early next year, we're sending a lot of packages to all the families to help them understand the program and how to sign up and all that. So getting all the supplies, we've been busy doing that. The big thing in November though, um, I did wanna share about was, uh, you may or may not have heard the tragedy uh, out of Wisconsin. Well, that location is in the town of Waukesha, which is where our Bible school, our organization's Bible school is, where Bree and I actually attended back in 2000 and 2000, I'm sorry, 2010 and 2011. And uh, we still, I mean, that's a fully operating school right now. and. We had many families, all who are okay, no one was hit, but many families from our community there that were literally feet away from that tragedy and saw things and had young children who were there and saw things that are unimaginable. So we're really praying for the whole Waukesha community, obviously, but also for our uh, Bible school community, the teachers, the staff, the students, and uh, just, we were able to have some big debrief events. We just uh, deployed some member care there. Um, I didn't end up having to go this time, but we had teams uh, that were local to that area respond and offer debriefs for the families and for the kids that were there. And so we're praying for them because that's a long recovery when you see things like that. So be praying for that campus. We really appreciate that. And then lastly, as a prayer item uh, for 2021, or especially early 2021, uh, we are recognizing uh, that we do need to grow our support team. That's important for our, as our family expenses grow and even just as our ministry with the new program, those expenses grow. We really do need to um, continue to raise further funds and, and we're praying for more people to join our team. And so we've got people that we are planning to reach out to and all of that. So if you could be praying for that, but you know, we're, we do run out of people on the roll decks, if you will. And so uh, I was just wondering if you know anyone in your circle that might be interested in hearing more about our team. And this is no pressure by any means, but just if you know someone in your circle that you're like, you know, I think they'd be interested in this ministry to missionary families and MKs. Uh, if you would connect us, that would be great. Um, we're just looking for you know who God has for our team and, and we're willing to connect with anyone that, that might be. So if you have anyone in your mind that comes to your mind, I should say, feel free to let us know. We'd really appreciate that. So I uh, appreciate your prayers. Appreciate you guys being behind us. We can't do this ministry without you. And we're very grateful to be a part of it. We feel it has a huge place in, in kingdom work. And so we're grateful to be a part of it. And thank you for being a part of it. So love you guys. Hope you guys have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. And uh, I'll send a new one out towards the end of the year. Love you guys.